PJ Motley is a city kid. Wow, this is going to be cool. Five years old, and except for the schoolyard or the park once in a while, he's never yep. really spent any time outside. What are those? They're called mealworms. You like worms? I don't play with bugs. <laughs> so we figured that PJ needed to go fishing. I'm gonna give you a lesson, and before it's over, you'll be doing it yourself, okay? Okay. We took PJ to a private pond south of Nashville with TWRA's Doug Markham there to show him what to do, and mom and dad watching from a little distance. I didn't know if he was gonna be squirmish or not, because I'm kind of squirmish, but I didn't want him to be. But he did good, I was impressed. <laughs> That thing on the top is called a float. It's a bobber. Mm -hmm. And if it starts to go down in a second, I'll show you what to do. Now remember, up till today, PJ has never seen a live fish outside of an aquarium. But that is about to change. See that right there? Yeah. Now, I'm going to get this first one, and then I want you to get the rest of them, OK? Wow! You ever touched a fish? No. They won't hurt you. You can touch them. That's a bluegill. Woo! We're going to take that hook out. I'm going to get another little worm on there, and then you're going to catch the next fish. Okay. All right. Throw them back out there. Throw them back. Watch them go. They like to take back off. <laughs> That's you it. ready to do this? Yes. Then he gets to pull one in on his own. Now? Yep. Once Doug hands over the rod, it's game on. Another one. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Really? Really? <laughs> there you go. Baby. Yes, I did it! <laughs> That's your first fish. All right. Not everybody gets their first fish on TV. You know that, don't they? Yeah. I just caught my first fish. <laughs> now, we knew coming out here that PJ had never caught a fish. He's five years old. You expect that. But we came to find out that Mom and Dad had never caught one either. <laughs> yes, I'm indoorsy. I'm not outdoorsy at all. <laughs> so PJ's parents get the same chance to learn and the same results. Little fish, big fun. Come on, Mom. I got it! Yay! Cool, cool! Now, is that your first fish ever? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you, man. There you go. Now, real rod tip down. Rod tip down. You got it, Dad! Now, you talk about a fast learner. We weren't there an hour before PJ was showing his dad how to haul him in. Rob, 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 rob. And I think that's the way most kids are going to be. If you just give them a few minutes and you take them to the right place where the fish bite the first time, somewhere where you have bluegill, don't go try to catch a bunch of bass or crappie or something that's tough to catch sometimes. Take them where bluegill is, you got their attention right away. And uh, if you get a PJ, you're in good shape because he's great. Yeah. That was all me and PJ. I am very proud of him. I'm very proud of PJ for trying this experience and enjoying it and not being afraid of it. I'm glad that he enjoyed the experience of learning how to fish. I think just that experience of being out with family outdoors, Come being on, able to fish and, and be able to catch something, he's gonna wanna do again. And go! PJ got another fish. There you go, man. Was, I think it was as exciting for me as it was for him, you know, and that's great because that'll give me more energy and, you know, make me feel like bringing him out here more often and letting him experience something that we both can enjoy together. All right, now pull. Come on. Really? Really? I don't know that I've ever seen anyone having a better time fishing than PJ. And the best part, this is something any of us can do because you're never too young. I, I got him, I got him! or too old to step into Tennessee's wild side for the very first time. I'm Craig Owens. Amazing.